track the tool is letting me keep track of who I visited yesterday the day before the day before. hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about how do you get more people to actually look at your offer how do you get them to actually be interested and 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 actually take a look right because you could be sending messages to everybody and nobody's everybody's ignoring you that kind of stuff how do you get more people to actually take the time to look at your offer so we're going to go into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so we're all looking for the easy solution right so what are the five easy steps that you can do to get more people to look at your offer you just want them to look at it right isn't that that's all that's all we want right we just want people to look at it because we know that our offer is amazing and most everybody's going to be oh my god this is awesome but you can't get them to look at it why not right because they think you're scamming because they think you're all these different things but you're not right you actually have something that will generally help them but you need them to look at it and if they don't look at it they're not going to benefit from it neither will you so how do you do that before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis411.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I do share the screen and I will be talking more and showing you tools and things like that the, the things that you need to be doing to actually uh, uh, get those people to look at your offer you just, that's all you want if you're selling a course or anything like that it's the same thing you want them to go look at the course right you want to you want them to go check it out at the very least to look at the landing page right that's all you want just but they're not doing that and why is that and we're going to get into that what are the five ways to get them to do that so let me just share my screen and let's just kind of show you here so I mean you know basically these are the five steps uh, normally I, I take a lot longer to go into that but I just kind of want to show you the five easy steps is really number one you got to get the tool it's called active group users and you get it from uh, this link over here right so you get active group users you go get that tool just install it it installs on chrome on edge firefox opera and lots of different browsers uh it's a it's a chrome extension so whatever browser you have if it supports chrome extensions you'll be able to install it then what you do is you got to go find the groups that your target market hangs in and by the way this is a Facebook uh Facebook tool so it's Facebook groups right find the Facebook groups that your target market is in so you should already know who your target market is what they're interested in what they like what they don't like and you should find where they hang out in Facebook where where is your ideal customer you know what are they interested in where are they go find that go find those groups and you put those groups inside the tool and schedule a run every day so that it goes and gets the list of users because that's what it does it goes and gets the list of active users and why is it important to get active users because you're using Facebook to connect with people and if they're not active on Facebook you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to do what the tool helps you to do if they're not if they're not active on Facebook so sure you can find users on Instagram on LinkedIn other tool other TikTok even all these different platforms uh but you're not going to be able to use this tool for those platforms at least not right now so it's Facebook Facebook group so once you've got the tool and you've got it running and it's gathering information for you it's gathering users you're going to be able to use the the new blood list you're going to be able to use the build KLT which is no like trust list to grow your no like trust daily and you're going to be able to use the ready to connect list to connect with hot leads about your offer so this is not an overnight success thing but it is an easy thing right it's just one two three just do those things all every day a little bit you spend like maybe 15 minutes 30 minutes every day just going through this list of people and I'm actually going to show you how that works and the way and what happens is that people will get to 
know you they'll get to like you and they'll get to trust you so that when you talk to them about your offer they're actually going to just they're they're going to be willing to look at it because they trust you obviously if you do anything to to break that trust then that, there's nothing I can do to help you with that but I mean if you are honest and if you are uh, if your product or offer is is honest all that is good then this definitely is the way to improve your odds of getting people to actually buy your offer all right so how does that work so you get people to actually like and trust you to look at your offer and get a higher percentage of sales because you all uh, you probably already know this right the more people know like and trust you the more likely they are to buy from you if they don't know you if they don't like you if they don't trust you they're not going to buy from you and this is one way to get that to happen uh it's it's a really simple way it's a really easy thing to do you just follow the steps and keep doing it every day and I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like so first when you first start using the tool you're going to get something like this you're going to get a list like obviously me I got all these numbers here just ignore all that stuff um <clears throat> you're going to get a list of people like this right just a list of all and there's you know there's seven thousand here whatever that's because I've been running the tool for a while but you're going to get just you know whatever you choose and I can show you later if you keep watching this I'm going to show you later what that looks like how you get all this but the initial thing is you're going to get a list of people that you've never heard of that never heard of you they don't know who you are you don't know who they are either but you just get a list here and you just go through that list now I recommend you do at least five five to ten new obviously in, well, actually in the beginning you should do 20 at least 20 maybe even 30 uh, of these people here that you visit all you got to do is you just click on their names here and then it'll give you uh, uh some uh, you can actually add details to them you know their email their address that whatever so you ever find that you can choose what their temperature is whether it's cold warm or hot uh which obviously in the beginning you don't have to worry about that the tool takes care of setting it to cold automatically because it's the first time you contact them and then over here you can choose how many posts you not choose but sorry you can record how many posts you engage on so if I go to their profile I just click on their name here it'll take me to their profile on Facebook directly right uh let me take that URL out of there so it'll take you to the, their profile and you can see whether they're posting uh posts or not right this person here um they've got 20 friends posted I guess their birthday was April 18th and they didn't post anything else the the September 23rd 20 so this person here would be uh inactive on Facebook even though they active they so the tool found their name because they actually commented in a group right if I go back here I can actually go well yeah that's that's because I'm looking at all contacts if I go by scrapes here I'll kind of show you if I can find her again this is L, L. Marie so let's just look for L Marie and uh, doo -doo -doo. temperature let's just say all so did I type that right E-L-M-A-R-I it's it's not showing it for me I'm not really sure why do I have another filter here clear all filters maybe it's not Cougar let's just search for this Cougar this is a interesting I I've I haven't really uh, thought this thought about this uh, particular oh there she is there she is oh no Elmer Kruger right so she this is this is the script when you look at this there's view either scripts or all contacts right so over here we can see that she is here she posted this post here she cloud mining app or well, obviously that's probably some sort of scam or something right but she posted this and um you know she commented it says comment right here because she commented this is the post over here this is the comment so she said limited time offer on her own, on somebody else's post I guess and the thing is that that is an example of a person who is probably not valid if I go back to here you can see this person didn't post anything so this is what I do with that I just close this I go back here I'll go back to the um, to the all contacts here 
and she's right here so El Marie Kruger I'm going to add a note here and I'm going to say not active or whatever whatever you want you can put whatever note you want and that helps to uh, limit the search the results so if I click on new blood again she won't be in the list now because oh I got the Kruger here now let's go back to advanced clear that clear all the filters and go back to here um so there so now she's not in the list anymore because she isn't now but anyways that's uh, I went through a whole bunch of other stuff here that's not important the point the point is when you get this tool you start using it you got the new blood the build no like trust and the ready to contact the three different lists you click on one of these three buttons uh and and then uh, you can choose you visit these pro profiles just by clicking like that and it takes you straight to their Facebook page you can actually go and engage on their posts and this one here the 2021 again that's another one so that's the thing you'll find with new with new posts no recent posts you'll find that with new people lots of people depending on the groups that you're using right um you see how it says no recent post now it says cold right there if I go to James William now uh see whether we get anything on here but I kind of want to go through the I guess there's still no posts on this one and the idea is that you're going to do that every day a little bit you're going to find out of you know no posts I'm going to put no posts again um I'm just gonna you're gonna find that after you do a few of them and you're gonna find at least a few that are actually active plus depending on the groups you use some groups might have more active people you know marketers say you're looking for marketers um he needs a second hand a ladder I don't have a ladder he posted a picture of flowers that's so I'm just going to say no posts here as well no posts and that's the thing so I go through these and then after after I've done five or like I said when you're starting out you're going to do five probably 20 uh people but after you've gone through this for like a week or two the build no like trust button will start to work in the beginning it'll be empty because this is only six days or more <coughs> since you visited them so if I go <coughs> I can click on any of these that I visited six days nine days uh ago I can load more if I want and you can see over here I've got some that are 23 hours ago some are yesterday if I do keep loading up we got some from yesterday yesterday a bunch from yesterday you can see three days ago right if I keep and this is basically I'm keeping track the tool is letting me keep track of who I visited yesterday the day before the day before the day before and it lets me use the build no like trust lets me go to visit those people that I visited six days or more ago so that they keep seeing me in their notifications and what happens is that these people will start to see you know your face in their notification they're going to start to see your post in their feed they're going to start to see your comments on their posts they're going to start to see you engaging or reacting to their posts and they're automatically going to start to know you that's the first tier of the no like trust ladder right the that you need to grow if you want to have people actually look at your offer when you offer it to them so you got to grow the no like trust and no like trust is the no the no rung of the ladder right that grows because they just start to see you in the notification that's the whole point here you keep going through here you keep uh, commenting on their stuff uh, engaging on their stuff and they're going to see you in their notifications right so that's kind of what it is it's all about finding out who uh or seeing you in their feed in their feed and their notifications and their messages uh, if you want to send the messages too you can but I wouldn't recommend that in the beginning until you've grown they've grown to know you so you can see right here as well you can see how many people right so I'm gonna this is gonna load up something is it okay and how many times you visited them right how many comments you had on them how many reactions you had on their posts that's kind of what that does and by the way you can use this tool on your phone as well so if you go to your this is the how to look on your phone it'll just have less less of the data on there but still you can kind of still see the names of the people you can see how many days ago you visited them and you can see also the number of uh times they show up in in, in searches 
and that's kind of what that does and over here you see the total number of yesterday the day before that kind of stuff if I reload this page because I visit a few more this number is going to go be higher instead of 24 c 28 right and it kind of gives you the list and the same thing with these buttons right these buttons will uh, show you the list of the new blood so people you have not visited yet you you've never seen or never visited their profile number two the build no like trust is the people you have visited at least six days ago that you should visit again to build your no like trust or at least so they start to see you more and you know and the thing is that to build your no like trust first for people to know you they have to see you right so if they see you five to, to ten times in their notifications they're going to know you that's basically that's that's pure sign si simple very easy uh automatic it's it's in our mind that's kind of how it works it's just going to do that that's there's nothing you can do against it that's just how it works but for them to like you you got to be doing something that they like right so they will like you automatically because you are doing things that they want you to do you're going to you're engaging on their posts you're commenting on the post by the way you got to be doing some proper comments you got to be engaging on their posts in a way that they will appreciate it right so that they will automatically like you I, I mean I've got people sending me messages now so you know obviously they have things to sell too so they're sending me messages saying thanks I appreciate you engaging on my post I really I really uh, I've been noticing you uh, commenting on my stuff it's awesome thank you so much I really appreciate that and and that's really that's what it's about right because I'm engaging on their stuff because they're seeing me all the time because they're it's constant and it's regular they will automatically start to know and like me that they'll know and like you right they'll know and like you because you're being consistent right and then after a while after you've been engaging on enough people like see if I look through this list here and these are build no like trust list right if I look at through this list and I just kind of sort it by the number of visits which is how many times I've seen their their um their pace this is still the build you no know, like trust the rest of the filters are still there but you can see over here I did 22 2020 so if I look at this 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 per person here James Litter he's a he's got a cold he's he's set as a cold lead because I haven't updated this is not automatic I have to do that so if I look at this anything that's over 10 over to over uh 10 visits which means I've seen their profiles and posts at least 10 times then I should probably mark these as hot so now if I look at this one I just open this guy I just go and change him to hot and that's it now it sets it to hot over here this one as well I can just click it here and I can change it to hot right and that's it there then I this one here I'll change it to hot as well and now what happens is that now any of these hot ones uh, hot what there and then this one let's do this last one here okay so now that they're hot now if I click on the ready to contact list it gives me the list of the people that are hot all the hot there's 20 there's 35 I have right now right if I load more I don't know if that'll work that, that might I haven't checked yeah I guess this doesn't work properly but yeah when you first click on this button it gives you the the top 25 that are hot and uh, you can reach out to each of these I can just go to this person's here I can go to her profile and I can actually send her a message saying hey you know and obviously you want to make it personal you can't just say hey it's not because I've been engaging on her, on Sarah's stuff here that I can just send her a message hey here's my thing you want to take a look at it you still have to be you know you still have to do it the right way right I mean I could prob probably I could probably look at this post series see how I've engaged here and uh, and over here I've commented on this one too uh well actually you can't see it but if I look probably oh maybe I haven't no see I haven't because I usually always um I always like and then I comment right if I don't engage if I didn't uh, react to it I didn't comment I usually do that all the time so that I can kind of keep track and I can know but I could send her a message and look at the stuff here I see you're doing some you know online marketing stuff you're uh, you look like you're posting for profits that looks like that whatever it is right I can I can make I can say things based on what I'm seeing here right I say stuff based on what I'm seeing here and then based on that 
because I've been engaging on her post because she's been seeing me in my in her notification because she now knows and likes me because I've been doing some stuff that she wants me to do she's an online marketer of course she wants me to like and engage on her stuff because she knows it grows her engagement on her stuff and that's what people want people want you to engage on their stuff that's so they're automatically gonna like you because of that when I say hey I've got this thing that I thought maybe it could help you because I, I noticed you're trying to do a b c and this will actually help you with that um, would you like to take a look at it uh, would you would you like me to send you the link to it or whatever right that's it that's all and then you grow your uh you grow your people that are actually going to you know engage uh on your stuff they're actually gonna take a look at your stuff and as you know the more people look at your stuff the more that's the only way you're going to make sales right if they look at your stuff but you know what if they trust you as well then then you have much higher likelihood of them even buying it right and that's kind of how that works right so if I'm, I'm just going to put I actually didn't do any uh, comments or anything but so yeah so that's just now see how it says just now I just went and visited her so that's that's how you do it that's how you do it all you got to do is you go through these steps you go through these buttons you build your no like trust and you grow your your you grow your no like trust level or 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 what's the word uh factor your no like trust factor with these people because they see you in their notifications they see you in their posts they see you commenting on stuff and so let's talk about how you get this tool right you're probably thinking well okay I want this okay well let's go get it here's how it works so if I'm just going to scroll this down a little bit so you can kind of see the whole uh we probably don't need my let's take my bookmarks out of there so I need to see them there you go you give us a little bit more room on the screen all right so what you do is you go to that link which I will show you right here just go get this tool activegroupusers.com and I think I should do that in an incognito window let's open up an incognito window and do that there okay so oh my bookmarks show up still eh? anyways whatever active group users.com okay so you go there and that takes you to the welcome page if you will of the tool all you got to do is you can click here to get it right so you just click on that and it kind of tells you a little bit about the tool so you just click on that that will go to the page downloaded the Google Chrome store right and it tells me right now I can't add it in incognito because well that's exactly how that works you can't do that um but if I go to let's just close this so if it takes you to that then what happens is well let's do it here let's go here I'm probably logged in I am logged in still get the same page if I go there it takes me to the Chrome Chrome web store it says I've already gotten it actually I have a newer version that I've got locally but if you go here and you click on add extension there's going to be an add extension button you'll end up with this I don't know if it'll be 1.9 1 or 1.8 but you'll have the version here and you just say right now we don't have it enabled because I have this newer like debug version but basically it just that's just it you just click this button here to add it it'll show up here and then you'll be able to see it in your um in your uh browser extension list that little um what's it called puzzle piece right there if you click on this little puzzle piece you should see other extensions like see I have all these ex all these extensions right they're all disabled so that's why they don't show up in the list here but uh if I was to enable say for example which one can I enable let's enable the buffer the chrome extension um then what else google docs keywords okay so whenever these are enabled you see them in the list here right and if you want them to show up with a little icon at the top here you got to put this little pin here see if I click the pin it shows up now right if I don't click the pin it doesn't show up if I click the pin it lets me so it's, it'll see you'll always see it on your uh, list of uh, items there actually let's move this over here okay so yeah so once you've got it installed then when you click it here you'll first get a 
blank screen which will tell you that which will tell you which you won't have any groups here but all you got to do is you got to put your group url in here and click the add button then you'll have your groups down here and then you just have to schedule you can start and run it like if you click this it'll start uh, scraping what the scraping process does is actually goes to Facebook to those groups and finds the active users in those groups right so then it stores it in the list you saw as you can see right now it's actually going to the first group here and it's gonna it's loading up this page right then it goes to the then it then it goes to the next group and then it goes to the next group and then it basically goes to the pros and finds who it is that's actually active right so, so Tom Bella here and Aaron Lou here and Jay here and then in the comments right there's comments here there's there's Carol about it and because so those names will be captured by the tool I'm just going to stop it right now but basically what happens is it goes and gets those users and gives you a list which is what we saw here right this list here of names so that's kind of what the tool does it does that and every time you run it it gives you a new what it's called a scrape a new scrape of data that's why in the tool when we look at this there's this by scrapes right here uh let's just clear the filter here so by scrapes is basically that every time there's a scrape that happens so you see right here the fifth the sixth the fourth third so I have it run every night automatically at 2 a.m as you can see to it takes about 45 minutes I guess to scrape the, the groups I have that's why you see 46 44 40 45 right here right but it starts at 2 a.m that's kind of how I have it scheduled and uh, the way you do that is in the extension when you click the little icon here it loads up the extension page and then over here under options you can schedule it the schedule by default is off <coughs> but you're going to want to enable that I set it to 2 a.m because it's a time where I'm not using my computer <laughs> and by the morning the 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 list of people are uh, updated in my in my in the in, well, in this page right okay so once you have that set up you got to make sure you leave your computer on obviously it has to be running right because if your computer's not on it won't be able to do anything so you got to make sure your computer is on so that that scrape happens and if you turn your computer off every night then you're gonna have to run it in the morning when you turn it on just go in here and run it once but the only problem is that it it uses up your computer while it's doing its thing so you can't necessarily be working on your computer at the same time you kind of have to let it be and let it do its thing like I said it, it depending on how many groups you have it could take more or less time that's basically what you got to do you got to let it run do its thing when you're when it's ready you can click on view data here which will load up a tab and it will load up the actual last scrape the scrapes by scrapes it'll load up the scrapes so now what you got to do uh, this will be the scrapes and includes the links the profile posts and all these different things right it includes all that in the in the when it's doing the scrape it tells you which group they're in right what they posted what they commented on and when it was that you visited them and when it was that they commented or posted on on their post right and that's not where you're going to find those other if you go to all contacts here that's where you can find those three buttons right all right so that's kind of how you get to it and uh that's that's how you use the tool right that's it you just install it and you configure the the automatic like I said in the in this little notes here you just install the tool right so install the tool configure configure the schedule add the groups that your target markets are in so in to add the groups what you do is let's go to Facebook here if I go to Facebook oops Facebook right if I go to Facebook and my groups are affiliate marketers right maybe and in, in my case I already have a bunch of groups but let's say I'm I'm looking for new 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 groups right I can go in here and I just search for affiliate marketing right and it'll and then I just say groups I want groups where's groups groups so now it's going to show me the groups that match this so either the name of the group is that or it's about that right like see there's a bunch of groups here right and uh you have to join the group by the way you have to be in the group if you're not in the group this these are groups I'm in I think yeah visit 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 right so you can actually just right click on this and copy the link 
and go to the extension and paste the link here right so I can just paste the link let me take the that URL out of there again I can just paste the link right here and now the link is the link that was actually right there right so I just say add and that adds a group I already have this group so let's say I add this other group copy link address go back to the tool and I paste the link and add it there you go so now it's added to the list it's added to my list of groups right you have 13 groups and uh so yeah it said it failed to save let me see if that's just some sort of false error hopefully that won't yeah it didn't save it for some reason add it so it's there but if it doesn't save oh I guess maybe there's something but anyways that's fine don't worry about that you're not going to see that error when you try it uh I'm, I'm going to fix that whatever it is but but that's kind of how it works so the first time there is a video here if you're first in here there's a click here to watch video on how to use this extension so this will actually go through the process of downloading it installing it activating it getting your access key and setting up your first groups and running it the first time all that's all in here so just click to watch here the video and or you can click this little video thing here that's also going to be a way to access that so yeah so that's how you get people to actually watch and look at your stuff that's how you get people to actually you know look at your offer you just got to get them to know like and trust you how do you get them to know like and trust you of course they talk about posting content all the time but you know if you post content all the time but you're not actually engaging on other people's stuff it's not going to work and you can just randomly engage on people's stuff if you want but without without having a, a real good organized way of doing it you're always going to be run, wondering if you've seen this person's stuff enough if they've seen your stuff enough you're always going to be wondering that but with this tool it lets you actually organize that so that it you know for sure that they know like and trust you already by the time you actually contact them and that's the secret they have to know like and trust you before you contact them that's the secret all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions as always you can always reach out until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time